Alright, so what we're going to do today, we're going to go ahead and install Linux onto our soft modded Xbox. And there it is. So what we're going to go ahead and do, you want to burn the uh, burn the disk with image burn. Now what you want to do, you just want to uh, download the file from the description, unzip it, and then once it is unzipped, go ahead and open up image burn and write the image file to a disk. Select the file, find your um, your ISO, make sure the write speed is set at 4. We want one copy and we want to make sure that it verifies. Um, you can use a DVD-R for it. A CD-R will not work if you don't have a DVD-R, a DVD-RW, or a CD-RW will work. So once we are done, we will go ahead and um, turn off the Xbox with the disk inserted. So now as you can see, um, you will not be seeing the fat X, I don't believe, because you don't already have it installed. But I do, so it's there because that's where I will be booting from every time I load this. So we are going to go to CD-ROM, boot menu, we want to do 640 by 480 today, starting up Linux. Now it's going to sit here and search for a little bit, it's going to do a couple different things. Um, just kind of sit through it. says it's auto configuring but we are going to have to edit the configuration files just a little bit and it's not hard it's just kind of a pain to do with the text editor um, that is available on the Xbox it's horrible it's really weird to get used to and you have to use the joystick but anyways and so all of this goofy color screening you're seeing right now is normal don't worry about it and so now we're presented with the damn small Linux um, homepage here. So what we're going to go ahead and do, press the B button. If it's going to work. Okay, you got to move your joystick first. And then tools, we want to go to... Oh, come on. Loop back, install, press A. Program will install XDSL onto the partition of the hard drive. Blah, 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 blah. Do I wish to continue? Press X. Now it's not going to do it. Okay, so uh, press X to the next file. I didn't mean to press it twice, but go ahead and press X. Uh, please specify a file size. I'm going to leave it at 200. It's now creating a loopback file. So that way we can play it off of our Xbox, or we'll not really play it, but you know, load it off of our Xbox from the hard drive. So yes yes last chance to exit do you really want to do this I want to yes even though it's already done it's probably gonna overwrite my old file but it's okay we just have to change two little things um, and depending on where you want to put it I mean I'm just gonna leave mine on the e partition because I don't really use it for anything but apps and this is an app it's a pretty small one so it's gonna stay um, stay in the e partition. You can do whatever you want with it, assuming you have already upgraded your hard drive with the uh, LPART X slash chimp cloner. Um, but either or, you know, either or works, e partition, f partition, d, g, whatever you want to use.
wish to copy X Romwell to your Xbox. Uh, yeah. And it's successfully been copied. Okay. Okay. Yes. E partition is fine. That is fine. So let's see if it gave me two files. If it did, I'll have to go find the right configuration file. But so now it is done. And uh, yeah, if you want to browse right now, you can. Um, I'm not going to. I'm going to go back to the. Uh, I'm going to eject the disk and go to the home screen. Now, more than likely, you're not going to be seeing this in your applications folder right away. So, just give me a second. Alright, so you probably won't be seeing it like I am in your applications folder, which is fine, I guess. So let's go ahead. We want to go to File Explorer. Now, yep, it did create another one. Did it create another configuration file? It does not look like it did. It might have edited it, though. What time is it right now? No, oh, maybe. So anyways, I'm just going to go ahead. Actually, I'm going to go back. Let's just go to Apps. We'll delete this one. Do I want to delete it? Yep. Okay. Alright, so now, scroll down to Nopix, hit the right trigger, scroll down, select where you want it to go. I want mine to go in the apps folder, so left trigger, start button, move, okay, and it's now been moved. So. Now what we have to do is come down to the linuxboot.cfg, press the start button, and open it with the text editor. So scroll down with the D-pad here and go over. You're not going to be seeing the apps here or the um, little backslash here. So anyways, what you want to go ahead and do, well actually I guess it's a, you know, whatever you want to call it, however you look at it. Uh, could be a backslash because the bottom is going back or forward slash because the top's going forward, whatever you want to call it, but it has to be, you know. So anyways, you're going to be seeing Nopix Linux 2.4. So because we just moved it to the apps folder so that it's going to pop up, go ahead and, um, oops, not the start button, press B, press the white button. Now you have to use your right joystick for this. Do not press the D-pad, you're going to end up messing stuff up. Um, it's really easy to do. So, um, and as you can see actually down here, because there is a... Um, second configuration file, it actually did save the configuration file. So, what I am going to do here is just... I'm just going to delete this one, because I don't need it. Now, it might take a little bit. As you can see, it's going pretty slow. I don't want to select all, because it's going to delete what I have below. So, bear with me here for a moment. So now I'm going to come down here and with your joystick go over. Um, I'm going to do the symbol first. It's just easier, I think. All right. So now that we have that out of the way, use your joystick. Select, select alphabet, shift. down 
over to your D-pad, back over with your joystick, shift, and so now that we're done with that, go ahead, oops, didn't mean to delete the P there, go ahead and press the back button, do I want to save the changes, yes, and so, if we go back and look, hit the back button again, let me reboot, There we go. And uh, now you can also, um, I don't have mine connected to a network at the moment, but you can go ahead and connect it to a network. It really doesn't matter. So guys, that is it, basically. Um, just a couple seconds here. So it's going to want you to change the password for you to get in. As soon as it loads up here. Alright, and so there you go. It's going to want you to put in a password. So just go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Put a password in. Whatever. Um, leave it the same. Doesn't really matter. But guys, that is the video. That is how you install the Xbox damn small Linux package. Um, with a you know, DVD R disk to your soft modded Xbox. If you like the video go ahead and like it um, and don't forget to subscribe I also have a Facebook page if you want to check it out it is h4ck gaming and repair uh, the little ampersand sign not and but yeah where it almost looks like an eight you know number seven shift seven on your keyboard um, but anyways that's the video guys like I said like it you know subscribe if you have any any questions comments concerns you know, feel free to message me, comment, send me a, you know, letter, smoke signals, whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop it, though. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.